Today, I've added the best legend from every NBA franchise to their current roster. Michael joins the Bulls. Kobe joins the Lakers. Glenn Rice um, joins jo joins the Hornets. I mean, what's funny about it? Our legend-led NBA teams will be competing in one regular season, attempting to claim one of 16 spots in a single elimination playoff bracket. Throughout the regular season, we'll make five stops, each stop representing a different set of criteria in which teams can earn their playoff spot. Beginning with the first stop, the NBA Cup. Whichever team team wins the second annual NBA Cup, books themselves a ticket to our playoff bracket. And with one legend on every NBA team, our first chance at booking a spot to our playoff bracket, the Bucks and the Mavericks. I mean, it definitely checks out. You add 99 overall. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar next to Prime Giannis. Old man Damian Lillard. Yeah, I'm disrespecting him. It's a really good starting five. Meanwhile, the Mavericks always sim as one of the best two or three teams on 2K25. Now you add Prime Dirk to the fold. Yup, this spot makes sense. Oh my goodness. And we're right down to the wire in the NBA Cup final. Both these teams deserve a spot in our playoff bracket based on how good their teams are, but only one will clinch it right here. Dame to the nope. rim. He misses good defense from Gafford. That might have been a dagger for the Bucks. Instead, the Mavs come back the other way. Everybody is tired out here, but Luka's wide open in the corner and he misses. Wow, Luke. Dude, you were wide open. The Mavericks had their chance to make this game interesting down the stretch, but instead, Milwaukee clinches our first spot in the single elimination playoff bracket. NBA All-Star Weekend is our next spot. And this one carries three chances for teams to qualify for the playoffs. Those three spots will go to the winner of the three-point contest, the winner of the dunk contest, and the All-Star Game MVP. Up first at All-Star Weekend, the three-point contest. Dirk giving the Mavs another shot to clinch a spot. Glenn Rice from the Hornets. Okay, Steph, he's not a legend, but fair enough. Steve Nash, Carmelo for the Nuggets, and T-Mac for the Magic. Okay. And we're going to skip right to the second round, the final round for our shooters. Uh, Glenn Rice, really, uh, I I'm sorry, Hornets fans. Our first shooter in the final round though Dirk Nowitzki it makes sense the Mavs were mm, they were so close to clinching that NBA cup spot can Dirk get him through here in the three-point contest and uh, uh, 22 I actually skipped the rest of his round uh not the best showing Steph Curry our second shooter he needs to beat 22 which shouldn't be a problem uh if any of you didn't know Steph Curry a pretty good three-point shooter uh anyways not the greatest first rack he hits the money ball though that's clutch this would be big time that's the four-point shot for Steph and he missed is it he also didn't do well on his all money ball rack so Dirk he's breathing a little bit of life here still hey oh this is crazy I think he's done I I think I think he's done right like my math is not great but oh my Steph it's over 14 for Steph not even close what an embarrassment this thing is wide open for T-Mac to clinch it for the magic all he gotta do is hit a few shots here a few money balls beat Dirk's 22 it's right there for the taking man I, I feel it T-Mac yeah clutch up 13 points 33 seconds style yeah he's looking good through a rack. He needed that one, though. All right, T-Mac, you got to make some hay right here, brother. This is the first. He bricks the second. Oh, my. What? The, he he literally looks like that Paul George meme right now. He hits two of... Okay. I think he's done, though. Again, my math isn't great. Wow. Anticlimactic. I skipped through basically his whole round, but Dirk Nowitzki, thanks to a lackluster showing by the rest of the field, he goes ahead and clinches the Mavericks a spot in our playoff bracket. Well done, sir. On to the dunk contest we go. Look at this stack field. Are you kidding me? Michael George Jordan, Vince Carter, Kobe Bryant, Dr. J. It literally does not get better than that. Let's speed run this thing. I don't even know how many dunks each player gets. Michael goes behind the back. He's going to go a, 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 a 33. Are you a, what? I have my questions about the judging in these 2K dunk contests. Uh, Vince with the reverse. I mean, I don't know what, to, what that gets a 43, not the behind the back dunk. Okay, 2K. We're going to go ahead and watch these dunks, but it's clear there is no logic to the scores. I mean, if that like that's got to be a 50. That was beautiful. Kobe. And he gets a 42. How was that not? Okay, that was way better than Vince's dunk. Also, what's a 50 look like? I have no clue. Dr. J, the OG, is standing there. All right, here he goes. Took a while for him to get into the animation. It's cool, 2K. Oh my gosh, that was an in-game dunk. That was literally an in-game dunk. That's got to be like... That's higher than... Okay, all right. I don't know how that wasn't the lowest scored dunk. Through the first round, MJ a 33. That's disrespectful. I'm saying it right now. He gets a shot at redemption right here. MJ with a... Wow, that was some nice elevation. And they give him a 32. They hate Michael Jordan. This is wild. Bunch of LeBron stands judging the dunk contest right now. That's all there is to it. A nice little 360 windmill action from Vince. Yeah. And he gets a 32. I actually... This is insane, dude. I'm actually trying to figure out how 2K does... Like, it must just be an RNG score regardless of what the dunk is. Like, there's no logic. Nice little 360 on the baseline for Kobe. That is... That's a 48. 
I mean, there's no way. There's no way that was the best dunk we've seen. I'm also not keeping track, but I think Kobe might be winning it. With a 48, that's an insane score. Mm, okay, Dr. J. That looked fine. He switched hands. I, I don't know. He gets a 34, sure. Okay, who won this? The winner is Kobe Bryant by a mile with 90. Sure, okay, why not? Good job, Kobe. The Lakers book a spot to the playoff. And our final playoff spot available at the All-Star game. Uh, unfortunately, it's not a close finish, a tight finish, but we're looking for the MVP of this game. I wonder who it was, obviously, from the Western Conference. They blew out the East. Wilt playing defense right down to the buzzer. And look at that. The All-Star Game MVP. He played defense right to the final buzzer. Wilt Chamberlain, the Golden State Warriors. Steph couldn't get him a spot at the three-point contest, but Wilt comes through. And look at that. Well done, 2K. Uh, Wilt probably deserved it. 22 points on 8 of 9 shooting. Led the winning team. Sure. With four playoff spots already clinched, it was time to simulate to our final stop, which all take place at the end of the regular season beginning with three individual award winners and i decided to honor the mvp defensive player of the year and clutch player of the year let's see who it's gonna be mvp kevin garnett i don't know why i wasn't expecting that i guess the timberwolves were probably amazing his numbers look good too there you go minnesota our next award we were looking at defensive player of the year bill russell wearing number 66 i had to it's the only number he can wear anyways great numbers and the celtics ah they clinch a spot and the final spot from this award section Shea Gilgis Alexander clutch player of the year I don't know how he didn't win MVP with those numbers but it's cool from award winners we move on to individual stat leaders I'm looking for the top five legend finishers in points per game uh, they'll earn their team a spot in the playoffs however if we get a duplicate team a team that already has a spot I will skip over to the next legend this is going to be stressful I'm going to zoom in on the screen and we're going to reveal this dramatically Luca we don't care not a legend but in second place Bob McAdoo for the Clippers there you go wow what a season. After Bob McAdoo, I drop one down and we see Dr. J who's been all over this video already. He earns the Nets a spot in the playoff. After Dr. J, we see Shea. Okay, Ant Edwards. Who's our next legend going to be? Jalen Brunson. It's Wilt, but we got to skip over him. We've already seen the goal. Uh, yes, Tracy McGrady. We're looking for the next two new legends. All right, Jason Tatum. Nah, we don't care. Dame Lillard. We don't care. Carmelo Anthony didn't win the three-point contest, but gets the Nuggets in here. This is so stressful. I can't see what's next on the page. After Melo, it's Kobe, but the Lakers already have a spot. LaMelo, good season. Trey, good season. Michael Jordan for the Chicago Bulls. That makes sense. I actually thought Mike would have put up bigger numbers because uh, the Bulls roster, not so great around him, but congratulations, they advance. Which leaves us with just four spots remaining and our final stop in the gauntlet, the regular season standings. We're looking for the best four finishers in the regular season that aren't duplicate teams, all right? This is going to be stressful again. The Mavericks are already in. The Minnesota Timberwolves are in. Gold Golden State is in the New York Knicks. Well, they are now in. Yeah, Patrick Ewing, maybe you can actually win something in your career with Jalen Brunson. What a fun duo. Okay, let's rapid fire it after the Knicks. Denver, OKC, Milwaukee, Chicago, Boston. They are all already in. As we keep revealing, Sacramento with Big O. They clinch our second standing spot. After Big O, we've already seen the Clippers with a spot. Atlanta with Dominique Wilkins comes through. We need one more. And it's our very next team, the San Antonio Spurs, 45 and 37 record with Tim Duncan. They clinch the final spot in our single elimination playoff bracket. A couple notable teams that miss out. Dwayne Wade and the Miami Heat couldn't find a way to qualify. Allen Iverson teaming up with Joel Embiid, Tyrese Maxey, and Paul George. Really? They couldn't make it happen? No, my idol, Steve Nash couldn't propel the Phoenix Suns over the top. And it's always nice to see Hakeem Olajuwon make a run, but uh, I guess the Rockets supporting cast just wasn't there for him quite yet. But with that, we had 16 teams make their way through the regular season gauntlet with their one legend and their reward. Those 16 teams have advanced off to a single elimination playoff bracket. And by the way, the seeding of this bracket, I decided to completely randomize our 16 qualifying teams because there was no rhyme or reason to where they finished in the standings. Our very first matchup on the docket, this is a good one. Kobe Bryant and the LA Lakers against KG and the Timberwolves. Don't let the Lakers go out sad without Kobe getting involved offensively. He's guarding up on Ant as well. Back the other way, LeBron leads the offense. They've got Jared Vanderbilt out there. LeBron, what are you? Mm, okay. LeBron might be absolute trash in 2K25. I have seen too much. Oh my word. Mike Conley to the rim. I've seen LeBron lose the ball, get stripped way too many times so far in 2K25. He is driving once again, bodying up Rudy Gobert on the help. He's a four-time DPOY. Anthony Edwards working on Kobe. That is a bad matchup for you. Ant kicks it out. Mike Conley is open. D'Lo, hand down, man down. What are you doing? AD with 31. LeBron with 21. Kobe, what? 
15 po on four of the oh my gosh kobe choked i can't lie oh wow another shocking upset the nuggets with mellow eliminated demar derozan went off 34 points big o a monster double double i didn't see that one coming this one made a bit more sense it was a tight finish but yeah dr j and the nets weren't good enough he put up 32 points in a loss a valiant effort but dominique 33 and 11 there you go this is a legendary matchup new york knicks golden state warriors one franchise recently a dynasty the other hasn't won anything since the 1970s oh my goodness look away nick fans i'm sorry for roasting you i didn't even jump into the final few seconds it was too much of a blowout i am having a very bad day i am jumping into the final few seconds of this blowout victor Wembanyama, tim duncan and the spurs upset gary payton added to the okc thunder i thought they'd be unbeatable i really did gary with 32 shea with 29 how did they lose oh my tim duncan didn't even do anything 14 points i have to scroll this far to see him that's why the milwaukee bucks were our very first team to qualify for the playoffs and they're eliminated in the first round bob mcadoo a man amongst boys 32 points to lead the clippers oh my goodness we're gonna lose one of either dirk and the mavs or michael jordan and the bulls why was this a first round matchup you hate to see it and you know what it's a silver lining but credit to michael jordan for keeping this game relatively close i mean the mavericks are so stacked and obviously they take a dub luca with 30 points and 19 assists dude are you kidding me Dirk with a cool 22 and 11. And to finish off our first round, we got another tight finish. And this one, a potential upset. T-Mac and the Magic working on Bill Russell and the loaded Celtics. Paulo inside with the finish. And this is crazy. For some reason, neither Bill Russell nor Tracy McGrady are currently on the floor. Uh, 2K25 is so wild. Can the Celtics close it out without their legend? Jason Tatum pulling up for three. Doing so confident. Paulo running off. And so he's going to pull up for a three. I don't like that shot. He misses it. After an intentional foul, T-Mac and bill russell do sub in what what are the magic doing they oh they're daring tatum to shoot but russell bill on the glass dude that's a big play t-mac gave it his all 43 and 8 for some reason he wasn't out there to close the game i don't know and with that we're down to just eight teams remaining with their legends oh and by the way i know it's sticking out like a sore thumb i did not intend to choose the celtics as my user team i thought i could change it later i'm i'm not rooting for them do not i i am not he's a liar our first matchup of the elite eight dirk and the mavs versus dom Dominique and the Hawks. Dang it, dude. I was really hoping somebody would take down these freaking Mavericks. They're so good. This was pretty predictable. Uh, I mean, uh, Bogdanovich hits a three to cut it to six, but that's as close as they'd get. Good job, Atlanta, but you came up short. Up next, a legendary power forward battle. Tim Duncan and the Spurs versus Kevin Garnett and the Timberwolves. Oh my goodness. We get another heavyweight favorite winning. No Wemby, no Duncan. It's Ant and KG, both with 30 point games. Dang it. It wasn't close. Surely we get a tight finish here in a rematch of the 2022 NBA Finals. Boston, Golden State with Wilt and Bill Russell. That epic legendary battle reunited here. Yes, sir. I knew this would be a good game. We're going to lose one of Golden State or Boston. That's crazy. Steph and the Warriors are up one Steph misses Derek White's defense is too good wow neither team wants to play smart offense here Jalen Brown an ugly floater Bill Russell on the glass what a machine puts it back up and in with the standing dunk at least get a good shot here not just Steph driving to the rim what is this offense oh my word he's got the ball picked up now out to Melton is that DeAnthony Melton taking a shot in the clutch yeah I'm not gonna lie I didn't know DeAnthony was on the golden State. Oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry what, what did I just see what? 2K25 is crazy. My guy, why is DeAnthony Melton shooting in the clutch for Golden State? Why did Jason Tatum shoot from 40 feet and why did it go in? I can't believe I just saw that. Boston is just unbeatable out here, man. Golden State, their last chance. Sure, let Draymond Green. Okay, all right. Sure. Uh, Draymond hitting a clutch three. Sure. At this point, literally anything can happen. Drew Holiday hit both free throws. Golden State out of timeout, so surely they're going for a three. They've got the greatest three point shooter ever, uh, but he passes it to Anthony. Andrew Wiggins, Wilt on the glass, kicks it out, Buddy Heald, that's a great look, and he missed it too. Oh, Golden State, you're such frauds. Credit to Wilt, he gave them one final shot, and it was Buddy Heald actually wide open. Anyways, Big O and the Kings are up early on Bo uh, Bob McAdoo and the Clippers. Oh, but Bob Mack has fought back, the Clippers up one. He's always so good. Oh, okay, De'Aaron Fox, let me chill. That's clutch player of the year last year, two years ago, whenever he won. Why go to work on Big O getting shut off? Why you might need to give up this rock, my guy. He goes to the rim and nope. misses. Back in transition. Sacramento, nobody's stopping. Ball, big O to the rim, and he blew the layup, dude. 
Is James Harden taking over in the clutch? Mid-range jumper puts the Clippers back up. Sacramento needs an answer, dude. They just got dotted up by old man James Harden. Oscar's going to work. Iso wing old man Harden. Oscar to the rim. He missed nope. another layup. I'm done. I'm done with this man right now. Bob McAdoo and the Clippers doing just enough to survive. They join Boston, Dallas, and Minnesota. Three IRL heavyweights in the final four. But I always say in every video I include him, Bob McAdoo simulates so well. I don't know why. Apparently, he's meshing with Kawhi. Kawhi and James Harden. In their final four matchup, they're taking on MVP Kevin Garnett, Anthony Edwards, Carl Anthony Towns. Yeah, the Timberwolves are a beast. A beast that will not be tamed on this night. The Clippers gave it a valiant effort, but 40 points from Ant Edwards. Yep, that'll do you in the Timberwolves advance. Will Minnesota in the final play, Bill Russell and the loaded Boston Celtics. Literally a picture perfect uh, starting five. That's insane. A rematch of last year's NBA Finals. The Celtics taking on the Mavs with uh, Dirk Nowitzki added. Yeah, that would have helped. And look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Celtic haters unite. Dallas has done it. Yeah, I was the user Boston Celtics. We've been eliminated. We? <laughs> I added one legend to every NBA team, put them through a regular season gauntlet, and our last two left standing, the Dallas Mavericks with Dirk, the Minnesota Timberwolves with Kevin Garnett, and unfortunately filed under the category of things you hate to see, our final game of the video is a blowout. I wanted a clutch finish. I know you did too, but what can you do? The Minnesota Timberwolves clinched a spot from our regular season gauntlet thanks to Kevin Garnett winning MVP, and KG came through for the T-Wolves along with their very low roster Anthony Edwards as they do walk away champions of this video. Oh, and what an exclamation point, by the way. 44 points from Anthony Edwards, 26, 25, and 7 from KG. That does not seem real. Let me know what you thought of the video down below. I had a blast recording it. The Timberwolves, man, they're, they're very good in 2K25. Um, check out another video from here on my channel.